Hello everyone, so the Unreal Engine Marketplace is closing and a new marketplace called Fab will be replacing it. In this video, I want to let you know what you need to know and my thoughts on everything. I know I'm a bit late to talk about this, although I was on holiday in Japan, although now that I'm back, I want to give you my thoughts. So what is Fab? Fab is going to be the next evolution of content marketplaces. It's going to be combining Unreal Engine Marketplace, Sketchfab, ArtStation and Quixel.com. It's designed to be your one-stop destination for all things digital content. So when is it launching? Fab is set to launch mid-October this year. If you're an Unreal Engine Marketplace seller, you can already begin migrating your content to the new store. And in early October, they're gonna open the doors to allow new publishers, and they're also gonna provide a migration tool for Sketchfab community users. So what's in it for creators? Fab is putting creators first with an incredible 8812 revenue share. So this is the same as the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Although wait, there's much more. From its launch until the end of 2024, publishers will earn 100% revenue share on sales of Fab standard licensed products. Yes, 100%, so that's pretty good. And then they also have a special launch promotion with Adobe. Publishers who list a Fab licensed product or buyers who make a minimum purchase of $25 will be eligible for a free six month subscription to Adobe Substance Painter and Modeler. So what can you expect from Fab on launch? Fab is packed with many features to cater for many different people. It's gonna have multi-engine and multi-platform support, including Unreal Engine and Unity. It's gonna have compatibility with dozens of digital content creation tools like Blender, Maya, and Adobe Substance 3D. It will have a wide variety of asset types from 3D models to audio files and plugins. It'll have Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine for Fortnite integrations for seamless asset importing. It will have a next-gen real-time 3D viewer for easy asset inspection. It will have powerful search and discovery tools to find exactly what you need, multiple license types with tiered pricing for flexibility. It will have AI transparency features to protect creators' rights. So what about existing marketplaces? Unreal Engine Marketplace will be fully replaced by Fab. Creators can start migrating their products now. Sketchfab's licensable content will move to Fab while Sketchfab.com will focus on 3D model sharing and viewing. Quixel Mega Scans will move to Fab with some changes coming in 2025. So with Quixel uh, Mega Scans, they also mentioned in 2025, they're gonna begin charging for it to support the ongoing improvement. So it's no longer gonna be free. And they also mentioned they're going to eventually discontinue hosting Quixel content on Quixel.com, although they're gonna provide notice for when that type of thing starts happening. ArtStation Marketplace will migrate to Fab in 2025, while the rest of ArtStation will remain unchanged. One important note is while product style ratings will migrate to Fab, the platform won't support open text reviews or question sections. For those worried about previous purchases, don't sweat it, you'll still have access to your Unreal Engine Marketplaces through the Unreal Engine Vault, and Sketchfab store purchases will still be available through your Sketchfab profile. Epic Games still has big plans for Fab's future, including new file formats, access to metahumans, a new rating system, and enhanced analytics for publishers. So that's the news about Fab. What are my thoughts? So they're going to be closing down the Unreal Engine Marketplace and merging all of these different marketplaces into one giant store. I'm actually not sure if this is the best idea because it could be kind of confusing. So I hope they execute this pretty well because now we're all going to have to use this one platform. And if it's kind of weird or got issues, then I think I'd kind of prefer if things were separate, but I guess we're going to have to wait and see how it's done. A good thing they're doing is I do think it's cool that they're going to give 100% revenue share for everyone that migrates till the end of 2024. I think having one store to support uh, many different engines can be a good thing. Again, I just want to see how it's executed. I think the loss of open text reviews and question sections is a bit silly. I don't know why Epic Games likes to remove reviews, so you're not going to really be able to have written text reviews or ask questions. The plan shift to Quixel Mega Scans to a paid model might disappoint some. I've not really used Quixel Mega Scans that much, although I do know um, it can be very helpful for creating 3D worlds. They mentioned developers will get some analytical tools, which will be pretty good because on the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can't really like view anything about how many people have viewed your product or anything, which I think is kind of um, frustrating. And then also I hope they have a better like store for like searching and browsing through the different assets because with the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you can't really like 
I've compared it to like the Unity Marketplace and the Unity Marketplace seems a lot more like easier to find specific things compared to the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So I'm hoping we'll get things like we can filter by reviews and that type of thing. Although we'll have to wait and see. Overall, I do think it does have potential. We're just gonna have to wait to see how it's gonna be executed. Let me know, what are your thoughts on Fab? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.